Welcome back to Grape World Channel guys, in today's episode we're going to be doing Sunday's technical analysis on the Bitcoin, VeChain and the Link because those three coins are most wanted on our channel and if you want to do technical analysis on some other coins also let me know in the comment section down below so just make sure that that coin is listed over here on the trading view. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button, we're going to covering something very interesting today on these charts and you need to listen very carefully and now let's get started so right now we are standing on the daily chart and we're going to go through one pattern that you can see over here that is drawn on the charts for the bitcoin usd chart now very interesting stuff is that we broke actually on the downside we broke bearish on the bitcoin price and we discussed about this in the previous videos why that happened so if we switch on the rsi we can actually notice why this happened it's because of the bearish divergence now bearish divergence is giving you signs that uh, that the price is all right it's climbing on the way to the upside while money flow into the market is pretty low which means indicates actually that will decline from those levels which actually happened now we still don't know if this dump let's say or correction towards 20 exponential move average is still done yet right but since this is on daily chart there is a possibility that we will see a little bit lower prices if we don't bounce back from this 20 exponential moving average the thing that i like on the bitcoin price right now if we move this support on the side over here we can see that we retest the 20 exponential moving average pretty much almost three times on the way to the upside which is giving me good hopes for bounce back and break twelve thousand dollars this is very important to understand so right now we are still in this rising wedge formation uh, and i don't think that rising wedge formation is still done because it's on daily chart and when such a things and patterns uh, actually starts working on the daily and weekly chart they tend to be a pretty extended so right now if we are going to discuss about bearish scenario over here right now are trying to actually retest this level of resistance over here that was level of support while we were in this rising wedge formation so what i think is going to happen we're going to be retesting this uh, this blue line over here and then we're going to reject from it now how far we will go on the downside we still don't know yet but we do have some targets and that that's ten thousand five hundred dollars and that should be actually the next level of support you need to be careful with the bitcoin price action because link vchain and other altcoins are most probably going to follow this action so as you can see, if we zoom out a little bit, this area over here that I drawn already is the level of support where the Bitcoin actually retested it as a resistance in the previous rallies. Over here, this is the most probable thing that is going to hold us uh, at least temporarily when we start retesting it for one more time. Now, I we still don't know if we're going to retest this $10,500, but there is a big potential for that since we broke this rally over here. Now, there are still hope that we may actually break this resistance over here uh, if we don't fall below level of 20 exponential moving average so today and tomorrow you need to observe this area around 20 exponential moving average or this yellow line over here that we discussed already in order to understand what could potentially happen if we break 20 exponential moving average to the downside there is a probability that ten thousand five hundred dollars is in play so make sure to observe it and one more reason why i do believe that we may see correction is because of the weekly chart look at this guys we actually didn't retest 20 weekly exponential moving average for weeks and right now we went overextended whenever the price is detached and uh, run away actually from all emas for a long period of time that price actually tends to come back and retest those moving averages even violently and sometimes breaking it like for example when it happened over here we actually broke 20 week exponential moving average on 1st april 2019 as you can see after this big pump and then we didn't retest it if we measure it for around approximately 24 bars which is 24 weeks insane and look what happened once we retested we broke it because we didn't give bears to take profits and this is what happened violent hit on the way to the downside so the same thing 
actually similar is happening right now. We we may say that we retested over here with this consolidation, this 20 exponential moving average. We had some sort of a drop over here and after that we pushed a price all the way $12,000 or a little bit above over here. So we should expect some sort of a retrace towards 20 exponential moving average and the reason why i think it's going to be ten thousand five hundred dollars is because i do believe that this 20 exponential moving average will find its support over here around approximately that level so approximately that level we should supposed to have some sort of a support because of 20 weekly exponential moving average and also the psychological level of ten thousand five hundred dollars which many of us are watching now we're going to switch to the link uh, usd over here on the weekly chart and i need to show you something very interesting which could be a little bit bearish for the link at least at this period of time right we sh i think we are going to take some serious profits over here because link went too extended and i'm going to show you the evidences from alessio rastani why this happened this is very very interesting so make sure to hit that like subscribe button and also follow this very carefully because there it is patterned just over here with just two candles uh back towards towards 20 exponential moving average so please observe this that i'm going to tell you so as you can see on the weekly chart we didn't ever retest this 20 weekly exponential moving average since 15th of June 2020 if I'm right yes and after that nothing actually we had few weeks actually two months I'm sorry uh, before this happened this occurred right so the thing that we need to bring is also the MACD as we can see uh, the histogram is showing us pretty good weakness over here with this big candle on histogram over here and overextended uh, moving slow and fast moving average. On the RSI over here on the weekly chart we are overextended, pretty long actually over here. So uh, what do I want to show you and what is bearish on the link over here is those two candles. This is two engulf bearish candle pattern over here. What this basically means in order this pattern to work needs to be on the daily chart and on the weekly chart and we are on the weekly chart. And the order of them to be needs to be one engulfed candle, which is actually uh, bullish, right? Like we have over here. And the another one needs to be bearish and on pretty much the similar length of the previous candle. So what I'm about to show you is the video from yesterday from Alessio Rastani, which shocked me actually when I saw this pattern formed also on the link over here. Look at this. Dark candles engulf the prior hollow candle. The exception to the rule is doji. So as you can see, bearish engulfing pattern over here, this bullish one, while well, this is the bearish one. But the first candle must be green or positive. So you want to see a positive or a green candle followed by a bearish candle, okay? So for example, if you're looking on the black and white chart like this, the first candle must be hollow and then followed by dark bearish engulfing pattern, okay? So they must be different in, um, in color. All right, guys, and of course, you want the bearish engulfing candle to completely engulf, to completely encompass the prior, the first candle. It must engulf the body of the first candle. So that's called the bearish engulfing pattern. And when this pattern occurs at the end of a rally or the top of a rally, it usually is quite a bearish pattern. And if we're lucky enough to see something like this on the charts, then again, I'll be looking to bet against the market as well. So as you heard Alessio Rastani over here, those two candles are actually bearish pattern over here and they're on weekly chart and there is a potential that we will see bearish action because of this and it's weekly chart. So make sure to be careful if you're trading this for a long position, you need to wait uh, at least some things to be matching up before we say this is not good pattern but i'm i'm almost pretty sure that we may see some more bearish action in the next week so if we switch on intra weekly over here on the daily chart we can see good and bullish thing that happened over here is that we bounced back from 20 exponential moving average which is pretty fine let's say because the bitcoin did also the same and we uh, declined from 16 dollars or so so for now everything is cool uh, and we need to see and wait how will bitcoin react so link will most probably follow so yeah observe the weekly chart first and after that then after that switch to the daily to see where are we with the prices over here now the slight bad thing that i can see over here on the v chain unfortunately is that we are still below level of 20 ema 
so Ling actually followed Bitcoin and jumped over 20 exponential moving average together with the Bitcoin. But uh, as we can see, VET is showing us a little bit less strength and we are still below 20 exponential moving average. This could be very bearish right now because we are also uh, below this pattern over here, which is rising wedge formation on some sort of a way. And we can also confirm this with the higher high over here and the lower high on the RSI. So that could potentially bring uh, VAT to lower prices because we will have we will have some resistance right now and problems to break these levels over here. Now what I said in the previous video, if you remember over here, once we broke, once we broke this 20 exponential moving average here, I told you from here to here, be careful because usually 20 exponential moving average will win over this uh, over some uh, support as we had over here this blue line and look what happened actually the same thing happened it pushed the price below level of uh, as we can see over here 0.018 and it stayed below uh, this level of resistance right now at this moment so it seems like the prediction came true over here and we broke below this level so be careful if you are longing this because you need to see actually breaking some level of resistances before you are entering the position long position over here market is not going anywhere so please be patient wait for the sign and good signals for entry point and then enter your trade now i think this is it for today ladies and gentlemen please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button if you like this sort of a content let me know in the comment section down below what would you like to watch on this channel i already took some uh, notes from some people that want me to do videos and i will do videos about the poll of vault wallet and many other things don't worry i'm actually watching that and i'm uh, tending to actually make those videos for you i want to thank every single each last one of you for watching our videos and until the next episode happy trading and goodbye